Okay, how many times has this happened to you? You make a really neat patcher and you've got lots of parameters in your patcher. And so you set these parameters to values that are meaningful and uh, then you know that you need to go to the snapshots window and create a snapshot. So I've set all my parameters and now I'm gonna create a snapshot and this unlabeled circle means that I'm going to embed the snapshot in the patcher. If you don't do this, um, it stays as a file that is a snapshot in your snapshots folder. Um, but if you wanna make your patcher port portable, you should fill in the circle. So now the snapshot is embedded into the patcher and I'm going to save my patcher. So take one more look at all these values and then I'm going to close the patcher. So maybe the next day you come up and you're like, oh, I want to open that neat patcher that I created. And then this happens. So half of the objects here remembered their state and half of the objects did not remember their state. This is not a bug. This is the way Max is designed. And I want you to imagine that the development of Max has like geological ages and all the objects down here at the bottom where the parameters were remembered in the snapshot system these are all live.ui objects. So this is a live.numbox, live.dial, live.slider, live.gain. Pretty much any max UI object has a live UI object equivalent. And because they're presented more or less in the same space in your patcher, you're forgiven for thinking that they're going to behave the same. But live is built on the conceit that when you save your project in live, it sounds the same when you open it. So by default, all user interface objects for Max for Live objects are inherently parameterized. And that's a really weird word, but I'll get back to that in a second. The Max UI objects come from a different era and a different conceit in that there's a separation between data and your program. And this is pretty much exemplified by the behavior that in order to get Max to remember anything, you really have to explicitly enable it. Now, these two uh, design philosophies kind of uh, come to a confusing conclusion here in this situation. Half the user interface objects are remembered by the parameter system and half of them are not. One easy way of knowing whether or not something is going to be remembered by the parameter system is if you use the live UI objects. But you can check if you go to the view menu and pull up the parameters window. Now, here's four objects and they all start with live dot and these are all memorized by the parameter system, but the max UI objects are nowhere to be seen. You are not out of luck. You just have to explicitly expose these max user interface objects to the parameter system. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm gonna select all these max UI objects and then I'm gonna open up the inspector. What I'm looking for is a attribute called parameter mode enable. So if I enable parameter mode, and now I'm going to set these values to uh, just something and go back to my snapshots window. First of all, before we do this, let's go check in to the parameters window and we should see eight user interface objects here and we do. So now I'm going to select my snapshot and then retake it, which should include these new values. So it's current. Now I'm gonna save my patcher and now let's test and reopen it to see if all my parameters are recalled. And they are. And that's how you remember all your parameters, no matter what kind of user interface object you're using in Max.